Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, around the world. And um, yeah, I just want to thank all my supporters um, for their support, all my subscribers for their support. And if you are visiting for the first time, like, subscribe and share. Um, today I wanted to talk about um, this new police, um, well they come out with this new solution, it's called the silent solution don't know how many of you have heard it. I hadn't heard of it before, so I thought I'd let you know about it. It could be the difference between saving your life. Apparently, if you're too scared to speak, you go through this process of dialing 55, but I am going to have to read it because I want to get it correct. But yeah, they come up with this, um, they come up with this system that, because they reckon that some people you know, they're too scared to speak and the police don't know what's happening. So they've got this way of you tapping in 5-5 five five or you're coughing or you do tap the phone or something. So I'll read it um, what I can, as quickly as I can, because I don't want to labour the point. It's just something that can help any one of you at any time if you find yourself in this situation. Okay? Um... The silent solution, new police system in the UK if you're too scared to speak. When you call 999, all calls are directed to call centres and will be answered by BT operators. They will ask which service you need. If no service is requested but anything suspicious is heard throughout the process, BT operators will connect you to a police call handler. If you call 999 from a mobile, it is always best to speak to the operator if you can, even by whispering. You may also be asked to cough or tap the keys on your phone in response to questions. If making a sound would put you or someone else in danger and the BT operator cannot decide whether an emergency service is needed, your call will be transferred to the silent solution system. The silent solution system is a police system used to filter out large numbers of accidentally, accidental or hoax 999 calls. It also exists to help people who are unable to speak but who genuinely need police assistance. You will hear an automated police message which lasts for 20 seconds and begins with you're, bitting, you're being put through to the police. It will ask you to press 55 to be put through to the police call management. The BT operator will remain on the line and listen. If you press 55, they will be notified and transfer the call to the police. If you don't press 55, the call will be terminated. Pressing 55 does not allow police to track your location, which is a bit of a shame really. Because you know that uh, new app that they're talking about, My Three Words, which tells you um, the location with just three words. It would be great if that 5-5 five five was linked to your location. Because what's the point of pressing 5-5? Five five, the police know you're in danger and then they don't know where to go. And how are you supposed to tell them your address? So I'm not sure how effective it is. When transferred to your local police force, the police call handler will attempt to communicate with you by asking simple yes or no questions. If you are not able to speak, listen carefully to the questions and instructions from the call handler so they can assess your call and arrange help if needed. That is the problem. What I would want to tell them is where I live. That's what I would like to tell them. I wonder if you could put it on video call and write out a note and put the note up on the video call. That would make more sense. At least they can see just with your address on it so that, you know, at least they have your address, if nothing else. Because it's less likely that a 999 call is made from accident is made by accident from landlines, the silent solution system is not used. If when an emergency call on a landline is received, there is no request for an emergency, the caller does not answer questions, only background noise can be heard and BT operators cannot decide whether the emergency service is needed, then you will be connected to a police call handler as doubt exists. If you replace the handset, 
The landline may remain connected for 45 seconds in case you pick it up again. If you pick up if you pick it up again during the 45 seconds and the BT operator is concerned for your safety, the call will be connected to the police. When 99 calls are made from landlines, information about where you're calling from should be automatically available to the call handlers to help provide a response. That's the whole point. If you're so too scared to speak, how are you supposed to tell them your address? Around 5,000. I think that's... Um, got my pages mixed up now. <sighs> Bear with me a little bit. Um, you know why? Okay, let's see. Okay, so what do you do if you need urgent police help through the 999 service but can't speak? A national campaign to raise awareness of a system to help people alert police when in imminent danger but unable to speak is being launched by the Independent Office for Police Conduct. The silent solution system enables a 999 mobile caller who is too scared to make a noise or speak to press 55 when prompted to inform police that they're in a genuine emergency. The system is well established in the UK, but it is only effective if the public know and understand how it works. It could, in extreme situations, potentially save a life. Prior to her murder, Kerry believed that if she made a silent 999 call, she would not need to speak or make a noise for police to send assistance. Sadly, her call was terminated and was not put through to the police control room because she did not know to use the silent solution system. It is not true that the police will automatically attend if you make a silent 999 call. Callers need to listen and respond to questions and instructions, including by coughing or tapping the handset if possible, or if using a mobile phone, once prompted by the automated silence system, pressing 55. The system filters out thousands of accidental or hoax silent 999 calls made daily. daily. Around 50 emergency calls are made. Um, let me see what else do I want to say. Um, this is still about Kerry. After weeks of stalking and inappropriate behaviour, he, he, her ex-boyfriend broke into her house with a key he had previously had cut, unable to accept her decision to end their relationship. As things escalated, Kerry became worried for her safety and of her son, who was asleep upstairs and called 999. Although she was not able to speak for fear of alerting the intruder to her actions, she followed the advice given by the police officer during an earlier visit that she could call but not speak. As the police held her details, they would be alerted and attend. Unbeknown to Kerry, this was fiction and nobody came. A short while after the call, she was strangled. Our investigation could not conclusively identify the wording the police officer used when advising Kerry about making an emergency call. However, it was clear she did not know she would need to press 55 when prompted by the silent solution system. That is sad, isn't it? But I hope you find this helpful. Um... Apparently the 5-5 instruction is detected around 50 times a day. 1% of all silent calls put through to the system. So it does seem as though people do know about it. I'd be interested to know if you know about it. Can you put a comment down below and let me know if you've already know about this 5-5? I didn't know about it, to be honest. But I think it might be useful for someone, especially victims of domestic abuse. Um, I don't know who's saying this, but for a long time we have been encouraging survivors, I think, of domestic abuse to use the silent solution system to make silent 999 calls if they feel it would be dangerous for them to speak to the call operator. 
That is why we are pleased to work with IOPC to help raise awareness of the system so that survivors can call 999 without putting themselves at further risk and prevent further lives like that of Kerry Power from being taken. National Police Chief Counsel Lead for Contact Management ACC, Alan Todd said, one of the fundamental roles of police is to help people in an emergency. The police service serves 12 million 999 calls each year and a small number of callers need to use the silent solution as they are not able to use their voice during an incident. This solution ensures that those who need assistance can make themselves heard through a simple and straightforward process. As part of the Make Yourself Heard campaign, we have produced graphics, a poster and a how-to guide, which we hope will be shared widely to raise awareness of the silent solution system and debunk the myth that the silent call by itself will automatically bring help. So I hope you found that useful, um, you know, and share it if you feel it could help someone. Like I said, I didn't know about it, so if I don't know about it, I always believe there's going to be someone else who doesn't know about it. So yeah, so that's all for now. Bye-bye.